Welcome, welcome, welcome to another edition of Big Woo's Top 20 Countdown. This week, we're counting down the top 20 alternative songs. Plus, we're talking to our guest, Hilltop the Raven. Uh, you guys, let's get into this countdown. The number 20 song comes from TV Girl. This song is called Not Allowed. Let's get into it. Not Allowed by TV Girl on Big Woo's Top 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you guys. That was the number 19 song, uh, Noah Cayenne with Forever. And we're talking to our guest, Hilltop the Raven. What's going on, man? How you doing? Tell What's me what's about the phone. Uh, well, you know, uh, basically, I'm, uh, as of this recording, uh, I'm 21. Uh, okay. I, uh, I, I, would, I wouldn't know what genre to really call my, put myself in, but I usually just say I'm an alternative artist. Uh, okay. Uh, I, I I don't I don't know if anything uh, I I'm more better with questions I'm, I can't just like it's hard to give you stuff on the fly. <laughs> <laughs> I understand that. So how long have you been uh, active in music? Uh, I want to say since my sophomore year. I've been writing music since I was in eighth grade, but uh, mm -hmm. really got into recording it in sophomore my sophomore year of high school. Oh wow. What made you get into music? Um, funny enough, uh, it was a heartbreak. Uh, basically, it was like a really, really bad breakup. Oh, freshman year. Sorry, freshman year. Uh, that's when I actually got into music, uh, recording music freshman year. Uh, yeah, it was a really, really bad heartbreak. And it got me to start, like, writing more songs. And mm -hmm. eventually, I showed them to my mother, and she actually ended up liking a few of them. She ended up showing me a lot of like uh, very jazzy beats. Uh -huh. And from there, I started rapping. Uh, wow. It was kind of weird because it's like nowadays, I don't necessarily rap as much. Oh, that, okay. That, that was what I started out of. Uh, I was a rapper. Wow. Wow, that's crazy. Well, wow. so then what what made you graduate from rap to uh alternative music? Uh honestly, I just really liked the alternative sound a lot more. I feel like it was a lot more forgiving especially with the type of flow I had. Uh mm -hmm. back back then when I was trying to show my music to other people, they never really considered it as a uh, rap per se. Hold on, let me see if I can fix this. I think that's a little better. There we go. Yeah, basically back then, uh, I, I suppose what people saw my music as, it wasn't necessarily rap. And when they did see it as rap, the form of rap it was, it was very just like slow. Mm. So, so when I got into the alternative sound, it was more, like I said, more forgiving. And I felt like I could experiment more and really find myself more as an artist. Wow. Wow. You know what? We're going to talk more to you. But let's get back into this countdown. The number uh, 18, 18 song comes from Jungle. The song is called Back on 774. Let's go to a Jungle Back on 74, number 18 on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, that was another TV Girl song. The song was called Lovers Rock. Uh, I actually kind of like that song. We're talking to our guest, Hilltop the Raven. Um, what made you choose that name, Hilltop the Raven? Um, I have a really, really funny uh, fasc fascination, I would say, uh, with Raven, Ravens and Crows. And, okay. like, honestly, like, the real, real love for them. Uh, so I honestly took the moniker Hilltop way before anything. Uh, okay. And combined the Raven with it. Hilltop came from... Uh, I used to listen to Cypress Hill a lot back then. Okay. Uh, growing up as a kid. And then also uh, another artist, his moniker on Twitter, uh, uh, people may know him by uh, XXXTentacion. Uh, oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, one of his old Twitter monikers was basically Make Out Hill. So I just took the hill from that. And honestly, I needed something to just go with it that just kind of rolled off the tongue. So I just said Hilltop pretty easy mm. yeah yeah how many projects do you do you have released <laughs> um released i would say just on soundcloud alone maybe Hello? 40 
We're still there? Okay, hold on. We're breaking up just a little bit. Say it one more time. Are we good? How many projects do you actually have? Yeah. Um, like I said, I think on SoundCloud, I have a probably a, approximately 40, give or take. Wow. This is just released, though. Oh. Uh, I have a lot of projects like that are up, up, up and coming that I have yet to release, uh -huh. mainly because of rights issues. Uh, but if anything... Oh. That might change very, very soon. What happened? Hello. Hey. What's uh, up, bro? Okay. I'm just on... okay. I was right wondering what happened. Okay, so let's continue with the question. So, uh, how many songs do you have? You have out? Yeah. Uh, so I was. Uh, yeah. So I have forty. Okay, hold on. Hold on. Camera got all messed up when. There we go. Okay. So yeah. As I was saying, I have about 40 songs out uh, mm -hmm. currently on SoundCloud and uh, three out on Apple Music and other mainstream uh, platforms. Oh, OK. Wow. Wow. Is there any is there any albums out or it's just like singles? I would consider them more EPs than albums. Um, OK. But yeah, yeah, mo uh, I have about four albums out on SoundCloud. Uh, okay. I, w I wouldn't even, I would just call them projects, just very small projects, honestly. Um, I have a lot of music to come, all mm -hmm. like, kind of just locked away, ready to be released. 
Oh wow! I can't wait to hear the. I can't wait to hear some of this stuff, man. I we're going we're going to hear three of the songs uh, on this countdown a little bit later. Um, wow. Wow, 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 wow. What's the name of the first project? Um, of the my very first project, uh, it, yeah. it was called Eternal Conflict. Okay. Uh, b back back then when I was younger, I uh, had like a very like weird dilemma when it came to religion. Mm -hmm. because, uh, I was my uh, mom had basically used to take me to uh, what what was it? The Kingdom Hall. Uh, I was a Jehovah's Witness back then. Okay. So eventually, after a while, I started reading like on my own, learning on my own, and it's like not not to say that I am like an atheist or like anything like that, but okay. moreover, I just don't have that strong as a, of a belief as I used to back in the day. Mm -hmm. And I, oh, I don't wow. know, it kind of like made me question a lot. So the album kind of like or moreover, the EP kind of structured off of like a very hedonistic like vision, you know? Oh, okay. Okay. Uh, we're going we're gonna to talk more to you about that. But let's get back to this countdown. The number 16 song comes from Alec Olsen. The song is called Someday I'll Get It. Let's go to a Someday I'll Get It, number 16 on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah. Yeah, guys, that was number 15 song, Whole Year, with um, Farewell. Now it's time to get into the first extra song of the week. The first extra song of the week comes from Hilltop the Raven, and this song is called Straight Jacket. Let me know about this song. All right, uh, so basically about Straight Jacket, uh, this is one of my unreleased tracks. It's a self-titled track, actually. Uh, okay. Uh, upcoming project that I should be putting out in the near future. Okay. Uh my music nowadays i would say takes a very political stance uh and i i suppose a way of if you've ever heard of rage against machine or yes. uh even a uh, public enemy it it takes a few like inspirations from uh th those artists mainly mm -hmm. because back then i like i said i kind of just question everything nowadays and some songs on that album take a very political stance in uh we need we need to make a change and straight jacket itself is a very like punchy just right in your face song that is like well in one of the lyrics i'm basically saying you know uh if these if they want to compromise then they can put me in a straight jacket mm. Oh like they wow! Can lock me, lock me away as it as they usually do with most of uh, the people in the in the government, uh, not in the government, mm -hmm. most of the people in the system. <laughs> oh wow! Okay, let's get into it. This is Hilltop the Raven with Straight Jacket, uh, an exclusive on Big Woo Top Twenty Countdown, baby. Yeah, I stole that from Soul Train. <laughs> I always say that. <laughs> uh, you guys, that was the uh, first extra song of the week. Straight jacket. What would you say is your your um uh, um your musical? Uh, would you say it, it's it's music just about your life or or things that you've gone through? What, what, what would you say about your music? What, what would you say the influence of your music is? Um. Well, as I said before, I got into music mainly because I was uh because of heartbreak as a kid, and mm -hmm. honestly, it kind of is always just passed around between messages of love and then messages of how i'm feeling at certain moments and i would say necessarily nowadays i really just try to like send messages in ways that people may relate to mm -hmm. and might be inspired by mm -hmm. and yeah just basically that honestly wow wow do you have a particular favorite song that that you that you uh written or released or do you have a favorite song of yours i wouldn't necessarily say it at the moment it would be straight jacket but i do have a, a few other projects that i can't talk about just yet right now but uh -oh. they will, will be those most likely would be my favorites oh, um, okay. if anything 
I do know that uh, our second song that we will be hearing, it is my girlfriend's favorite. We will touch back on that later, but. Mm. Okay. Oh, I can't wait. Yeah. I can't wait to hear that. I can't wait to hear that. I thought you were about to say something else. That's why, that's why I was like, yeah, okay. Uh, yeah, no, I'm sorry. If anything, I, like I said, I, I don't know. I'm, I'm still we, trying to get a feel for everything. I just man, feel <laughs> comfortable, man. This, this is a place you can be yourself, man. We That's why I got you on the show, man. We want you to be yourself. We want you to, like, to feel as comfortable as you can, man. To say whatever you want to say, man. But don't don't get too... Too crazy, you know. Too crazy, exactly. <laughs> <laughs> we'll say that because I want because I want to get myself <laughs> banned from anything, you know what I'm saying? Um, oh man, um, <laughs> we're gonna talk more to you, but let's get back in this countdown. The number uh, 14 song comes from Olivia Rodrigo. This song is called "Girl I've Always Been." Let's get into it. Number 14. Olivia Rodrigo with Girl I've Always Been on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, we did a three in a row for you. We did Olivia Rodrigo with Girl I've Always Been. Number 13 was Whole Year with Empire Now. And number 12 was Good Neighbor with Home. And now it's time to get into the Comedy Corner. The Comedy Corner features a dude that will be on our show for our season finale next week. Can you believe it? We're almost at the end of the eighth season. We're still doing it. I am so happy. And this is our boy, uh, Ruben Boogion. Let's get into it. Ruben Boogion, the comedy corner um, on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, that was the very, very funny Ruben Boogion with uh, the comedy corner. And we're talking to our guest, Hilltop the Raven. All right. Uh, who are you? Who would you say is your musical influences? Uh, they always change around, honestly. I, at the moment, I... If anything, I would say touch back m maybe on the past. Uh, I took a lot of inspirations from surprisingly artists like Wiz Khalifa, J. Cole, Mac Miller, um, especially when I was starting XXX, Tentacion, Lil Peep. Uh, mm -hmm. Nowadays, like I said, that inspiration has changed as my music has changed. Uh, nowadays, I take inspirations from Rage Against the Machine. Uh, a lot of Sleeping with the Sirens, Here's the Veil, um, Slipknot, funny enough. That, yeah. might be a weird, that might be a weird one. I haven't made really like any like connections with that lately. Um, Machine Gun Kelly. Machine Gun Kelly. Yeah. I, 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 he's very controversial, but I feel like I resonate with him in certain ways. Oh wow! Oh cool! Well, wow. those are some good influences. Those are some really good influences. What are your uh, uh, What is your response to people who say, "Ah, oh, he's just trying to be a uh, because uh, do you because because uh, when I saw you, you're, you're kind of like goth. What do people say? What do you think when people say you're just goth? You're just trying to look goth. Uh, funny enough, I I don't really take like any any certain like negative uh comments in mind uh -huh. uh, into account and like when i hear that i feel like it's kind of a compliment because that is kind of just my aesthetic it's kind of what i go for but not try to force myself into because my my styles kind of change around sometimes but i'm not necessarily a wannabe on anything i kind of just like to make my style whatever it is, whether it makes a statement or whether it just uh, makes somebody else angry. It is what it is. <laughs> okay. All right now. We'll talk to you. Uh, your, your, your girlfriend's hey, you're gonna have to one more time. I could barely hear you. It's kind of the, the audio is very top. I said, you guys, um, what, um, what do you see yourself in like five years? Ooh, five years. Um, see now, I like to think myself a little bit of an entrepreneur. 
I mm -hmm. always had this dream of uh, owning this one type of business. Uh, basically, I wanted to be a bartender in the future. Mm. And oh. that that's possibly a near future thing if I can play my cards right. But mm. five years from now, hopefully, I would see myself performing on bigger stages uh, and touring. Mm. That's cool. That's a good. That's good. That's a good one. That's a good one. Uh, we're going to talk more to you. But let's get back into the num uh, Young Dumb, the number 11 song, because another as another Olivia Rodrigo song. The song is called Scared of My Guitar. Let's get into it. Scared of My Guitar by Olivia Rodrigo on Big Ooh, Top 20 Alternative Countdown. Yeah, you guys, that was a number 10 song. Hold Here and Al Allison Russell with Wildflower and Barley. Now it's time to get to the second extra song of the week, which also comes from Hilltop the Raven. This song is called Everybody Knows a Quitter. Tell me about this song, please. Okay. Uh, Everybody Knows a Quitter. Uh, I... When I was first making this song, it was the first time I've ever actually made my own beat to mm -hmm. where I was able to basically I got my um my software when I was barely turning 18. I was just playing around with a few things and I was barely out of high school. So uh I used to like always just use my uh studio at my high school. Uh mm -hmm. we had a recording studio because we also had a film academy in that mm -hmm. uh, in that same like section but i'm okay. like basically experimenting with a few things and eventually when i was able to make the beat i started playing around with lyrics and started thinking i haven't really wrote a song for myself yet and okay. as it was my first song honestly this is my first song i ever put out on mainstream platforms ever Oh wow! I'm gonna make it an impact for uh, for myself, and honestly, I feel like with most of my songs, it could be like very self-interpreted, and it's the same with this song. When people hear it, they will either think you know they can't get love off their mind, so they'll see it as a love song, and like they'll like be able to like see it for other people, or but honestly, my intention for it was, uh as like kind of like a self-love song for myself because uh, the pain, where the pain resides is where I hide. Oh, okay. Let's get into it. Hilltop the Raven with Everybody Knows a Quitter on Big O's Top 20 Countdown, baby. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, that was a great song. Everybody Knows a Quitter by Hilltop, Hilltop the Raven. I'm not just saying that. Go and smoke up your behind, you know, because, you know, people say, oh, that's so great. And then when you get off the radio, I hate that damn song. Why that damn <laughs> but, but no, it's a good song. I actually met, I always tell my listeners how I met my, meet my guests. And I met you back, I think it was, uh, it was December it was, or something. Uh, January. Was it January? February. February 25th, February. I believe. Yeah, we were performing at, at a good friend of the show, and uh, um, we used to do it his podcast studios. Uh, uh, Mike Mazzalani, he has a, a, a thing called um, Third Wheel. Uh, uh, it, was a, it, was, it was a comedy musical, musical club, musical slash right. comedy club. Yeah, and so that's why I met him. I was like, you know what? I, I like this style. I said, you know, and he was one of the featured artists. I said, you know what? You got to come on my on my podcast. You got to definitely make sure you come on the eighth season of my podcast. And everything worked out. And so here we are. We all your issues and all. You know, oh, we doing this. Yeah. <laughs> yeah, man. Hilltop. Oh man, that that is so cool, man. Um, you are doing a lot. You uh. What 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 what's your next show? Ooh, um, I basically just got from playing the Viper Room. Uh, mm -hmm. I would say that was the biggest show yet. Hopefully, if I play my cards right, and this is more over my plans for my next big big show. Okay. Maybe Whiskey a Go Go. I just recently started oh, a band. Wow. Okay. So that is basically our next venture. That that is a topic I I feel like I should have touched more on. But uh, yeah, well, yeah, what I, you yeah. Uh, basically, I am uh, now the front man of the Harbingers. Uh, okay. Um, a little bit about that. 
and but actually before that, um, we have Mr. Bang on guitar, Snow mm-hmm. Bunny also on guitar, and Charlie, who's supposed to be playing bass, but at mm-hmm. the moment we have him on our uh, on a cajon. Okay. Uh, we're we're looking for a few more members at the moment, but that's what we have at, at right now. And honestly, I would say we're we're pretty damn good. Uh, like I said, we played the Viper Room recently. And I feel like we killed it. <laughs> what made you start the band? Start instead of just being, you know, like concentrating on your solo career. Oh, I've honestly really, really loved be, like just wanting to be in that like kind of like brotherly, teamly, like camaraderie thing. And I like just honestly, I'm really into family as it is. Hmm. And okay. for the longest time, I've wanted to like just start this band. And I've had the name in my head, the Harbingers, for a while. And at first, mm-hmm. it was gonna be just a duo thing with uh, me and my brother Astro. Uh, he's supposed mm-hmm. to be in the band also, but uh, due due to a few things, he isn't in it just yet, but will be soon. Okay. Uh, that's basically another artist that, uh, if anything, we can get into a little later. But uh, basically, yeah, I I just started the band just to honestly feel feel that other musical part that I feel was lacking. Why did you choose the name that band that name? Uh as I the same kind of thing with my name, the Raven. The mm-hmm. Ravens are like messengers of of okay. sort. Yes. And with the Harbingers, Harbinger basically means messenger. And mm-hmm. I feel like we are messengers of different, really different things when it comes to our solo acts and just us together. Uh, Mm -hmm. We're messengers of the world and we're here to bring you certain messages, whether it be a message of love, a message of hate, message of happiness, message of sadness, message of anything. Actually, I wouldn't even say hate because I'm not one person to promote hate, believe it or not. Okay, okay. I like that. I like that. We're going to talk more to you. But let's get back in this countdown. The number nine song is another Olivia Rodrigo song. Jesus, she's on this countdown like frequently. This song is called Stranger. Let's get into a Stranger by Olivia Rodrigo on Big Old Stop 20 Alternative Countdown. Yeah. Yeah, you guys, we did three in a row for you. We did Olivia Rodrigo with Stranger. Stranger. Uh, number eight was Artemis with I Like the Way That You Kissed Me. Number seven was Michael. Mark KG. That song was called Scared to Start. Now it's time to get to the independent song of the week. This is your song, Hilltop the Raven, with Misfit, Misery, and Anything. Tell me, what is this? What is this about? Now, uh, this song, weirdly enough, this ended up being my uh, girlfriend's favorite song. Uh, okay. When I had uh, first performed this song way back when, uh, it got way better response than I ever thought it would. It when I was first writing it, it was supposed mm-hmm. to be a very like poppy twist on teenage suicide, and wow, like honestly, the as you will hear in the hook, uh, the hook goes like we go through it. Because, like, uh-huh. honestly, we all go through it, and we all have our ups and our downs, and we yes. all just feel like sometimes in life we just really just can't do it anymore, honestly. Mm-hmm. And the song is basically just supposed to be a very just happier toned, like, take on it. Okay. And honestly, I think nobody really should really commit suicide or... We should have less of it, at least in the world. I I understand to just say, you know, nobody should do it. It's very like just very vague, but you know, it. I I'm hoping that sometimes my music will be able to create awareness to some of these things that might be going on in other people's heads. Wow, let's get into it. The independent song of the week, Hilltop the Raven, with Misfit, Misery, and Anything on the Woo Stop Twenty Countdown, baby. You know I can resist that. Um, <laughs> you guys, that was the independent song of the week. 
Hilltop, a Raven with Misfit, Misery, and anything. That really made me think. Um, do you did you perform that, that night um, um, that I met you in February? Yeah, yeah, I did. Um, I performed this one, and I believe Straight Jacket. Uh, basically, uh, those two songs are actually unreleased. Misfit okay. Misery is supposed to go on the uh, the same album, but uh. The album is like a double album. It basic okay. it basically is like uh was like side one, side a, uh, side two, you know? Okay. So that one would go on side one, mm -hmm. straight jacket will go on side two. Oh well, when when did you plan on releasing that album? Ooh, I don't wanna give a promise date, but hopefully yeah. before May. Uh Ever since I got into the band, we wanted to re-record all of the used beats that I used mm -hmm. uh, off of YouTube mm. and now, like, make it into, like, an actual authentic song that will be used with the band's instruments. Wow. So, oh, wow. Oh, hold up. Okay, so you guys are, so, oh, wow. You don't know when you make your own beats, but you also get your own, get the beats from YouTube. Yeah, um, I'm not that good of a producer, uh, so if anything, I usually just go straight onto YouTube, get all the beats from there, and luckily, that is a thing that I probably won't have to do anymore because of the band, which That's is, cute. like, honestly, like, such a good thing for me because I have, like, a habit of just wanting to use certain beats, and it's, like, I can't put it out nowadays because it's just like licensing and everything. And right. It, it's just a hassle. It's just a hassle I don't want to go through. I definitely understand that. I definitely, definitely understand that. We're going to talk more to you. We're going to get into your business. Uh, but let's get back in this countdown. The number six song comes from Olivia Rodrigo. This song is called So American. Let's get into it. So American by Olivia Rodrigo on Big Ooh's Top 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, we did the number five song was Billie Eilish with Wish I Was Made. I mean, What I Was Made For. Wish I Was Made For. It's called What I Was Made For. Sorry, Billie. <laughs> and it's time to get to the old school jam of the week. Old school jam of the week comes from SWV. And today is, you know, we're, we're taping the, the, this in April, but it's actually, the it will be airing June 13th. And this is Coco's birthday. And Coco from SWV. And this is one of my very favorite songs by them. It's called you're always on my mind. Let's get into it. You're always on my mind by SWB, the old school gem of the week on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, uh, that was the awesome old school gem of the week. SWV, you're always on my mind. Happy birthday, Coco. Um, Hilltop, uh, what? Shout out your girlfriend. I, I'm getting your business. Give give me your love life. Shout out to your girlfriend. Shout out to everybody. <laughs> Every all your love life. Give give your love life. Put it all pull out in the street. Oh, like uh just like how it is. Yeah. Uh, put it all on the street. Um, I I just like uh <laughs> kind of put me on spot there. Um well yeah, shout uh, shout out to Jordan. I uh shout out to uh Sam, shout out to my mom, dad. Uh, honestly, the band, like I said, like they were, they're honestly a big part of me right now. And I really do appreciate them. So I would say shout out to Josh, uh, JD, Charlie. That's all I could really think of at the moment. But yeah, shout out to all my family. Shout out to all my loved ones. Well, okay. I would like you to give like, cause all, we always make people do at least a minute of inspiration, say something inspirational that, that you want somebody to to gleam somebody who wants to be like you or something like that. Say something inspirational. Just give me a minute of it. That's all we got to do. Something inspirational. The best piece of advice I can give to a person at the moment is to not close yourself into a bubble. Uh, just to be able to do whatever you want without another person telling you. You can only do just this one thing and nothing else i was told many times that, like as a kid that i can only do one thing and not do another thing but eventually i ended up becoming like one of the most at least one of the most people i know uh like 
jacks of all trades. And I I encourage everybody to just be a jack of all trades in their lives and um, really just give it their all. And honestly, to do whatever they really want to do, follow their dreams, whether that dream may be small or big. All right, now. That is so cool. That is so cool. Well, you know, we're going to talk. We're going to talk more to you. We have one more thing we're going to do with you. Let's get back in this countdown. The number four song, number four song called is by Dijo. This song is called End of the Beginning. End of Beginning. Let's get into it. End of Beginning, number four on Big Old Snap 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, we did a three in a row for you. We did number four was Dijo with End of the Beginning. Number three was Noah Cayenne with uh, Stick Season. He's this current hit. Number two was the queen of this countdown, Olivia Rodrigo with Obsessed. Now it's time to get to the number one song of the week. The number one song of the week, can you guess who it's by? Oof. Um, I, I, I honestly can't, but I would I'd, I'd get, give a guess and say it would be by Olivia Rodrigo. She popped up on the list a lot. <laughs> No, it's actually by Hozier. This song is called oh, wow. Too Sweet. Yeah, yeah, I'm surprised myself. Let's get into it. The number one song, Hozier with Too Sweet on Big Old Stop 20 Countdown. Yeah, you guys, that was the number one song, uh, Too Sweet by Hozier. Uh, Hilltop, how can people reach you? Uh, at the moment, I... I'm pretty active on my Instagram, so they can reach me at Hilltop the Raven. Uh, all together, just how it is. Uh, it should be a little bird with a well, not a little bird, but a little a, a little raven with an anarchy uh, wheel right under it. Uh, as far as music goes, I will be posting more music hopefully soon on mainstream platforms so main ones i would say is just apple music spotify soundcloud okay. wise, you'll find me at hilltop semicolon the raven oh, okay i want to say thank you to our guest hilltop the raven also want to say thank, thank you. you to all you welcome actually and i want to say also thank you to all the stations that carry us on block fm uh, uh, SoCal Radio. We we reunited a couple of seasons ago with the one that started us off, Kill Radio. And also want to say, uh, oh, Spotify. Uh, um, who else? Uh, Audible, Apple Podcasts. Everybody, everybody. Thank you, thank you, thank you. But most of all, I want to say thank you to the listeners. You've been holding us down for eight seasons. This is our forty second show of the eighth season. One more show and this is and the season is over. You guys have been holding me down. I want to say thank you so much. Uh, and also we were nominated again for on the podcast awards for entertainment uh, podcast of the year and also best male entertainment. Say thank you so much for you guys doing that for me. Um, and if you all want to reach me is www.linktree.com backslash O L U S H E Y I dot banjo. You'll be able to hear this countdown, my music and everything, everything else that's going on with me. Um, it's all for the week is keep your head up and you can do anything. Um, usually we end this with a gospel song of the week and it's by my girl, Tina Campbell. Uh, this is her new song called pray for me. Let's get into it. Pray for me by uh, Tina Campbell. May God bless you. May God keep you. Until we meet again. And that is the uh, end of the recording. <laughs> All right.